Hello and welcome to this uh, hopefully short-ish uh, demonstration of uh, how a level is uh, created uh, for unloved. So for this purpose I just want to show you this uh, layout that I've created. It's uh, the master object uh, for every block of rooms and uh, I just decided to call it blocks so uh, everyone knows what I'm talking about because inside of these blocks shut up uh, inside of these blocks there can be uh, all kinds of different rooms and shapes and everything so uh, I just turn them invisible again because uh, these are right now just placeholders that will be uh, replaced by actual objects in the end that uh, will spawn a real door that you can interact with and uh, this is a layout that I have just started and I just wanted to show you how uh, everything is created inside of this so for example if I wanted to complete this room or oh, there was one more thing that I want to show you but anyway so if I want to complete this room I just duplicate these uh, items over here the wall for example and I shove it over here and I match it up and then I go over here and for example if I wanted to have a bigger door I can just call it uh, for example double door oh oops anyway it's, it doesn't matter what I call it it's just for my, my own purposes so here I have a um, selection of uh, the meshes that I've created and for this uh, Purpose. I've created all kinds of meshes that have uh, the exact, sim uh, exact size that I need for doors and uh, floors and everything. So uh, I can just use different uh, objects because uh, I could use the scaling as well. So for example if I have a wall and I place it over here and it's not long enough so I can just you know scale it up so it matches but I don't really like to use that as much because I like to have everything precise. So, uh, for example, I need a longer wall so I can just select a basic wall 600, which is 600, like, I don't know, unreal centimeters or something like that, unreal units, whatever. And so I have a perfectly matching, uh, you know, door. Uh, for this floor, I use this method because uh, I have only this floor that's only this big like it's a thousand units by a thousand so I can just scale it up for a bit a, a little bit to match it uh, for this size and this might look like a tedious process to create every room by hand like this but uh, in the end it only takes a few hours and uh, also this what I'm using is not even what epic uh, you know had in mind for creating levels this is just a um, layout that I'm uh, you know the the editor that I'm using here is for basically creating actors inside the game that, and objects that are uh, used by other things and stuff the, because every 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 one of these you know this is a finished room block so you can see the ceiling and uh, when I go inside and yeah there's textures all over the place and uh, uh, yeah I can show you how to place textures as well so if I go over here I can just like uh, select a new element and call it wood for example and then boom I have a texture and if you are like somehow familiar with uh, art and stuff I can I can show you something else very awesome uh, I can just call it whatever and select a different mesh for example a floor that is half the size but even then when I you know line it up the Unreal Engine takes uh, takes care of actually having seams so when I deselect this and the textures would actually load come on deselect no well, well and now Unreal doesn't load the texture because my hard drive is a piece of shit now there's the texture and you see there's there are no seams at all the texture doesn't load! Ah! Anyway, you know, it's uh, every time you, you show something that this happens. So yeah, there are no seams and even if I you move this object around, the texture moves with it. So it stays like, uh, 
Awesome. So, uh, this is a finished room layout. I have uh, placed a few objects like this, uh, like uh, static objects that are uh, littered throughout the place uh, to make it a bit more interesting. And uh, this is, uh, I, and also I've added this light to make it more recognizable. <clears throat> In the end, there would be like all kinds of lights and everything. And I uh, just wanted to show you how this looks in game. So, oh yeah, I wanted to show you something else first. <coughs> Don't know what's up with my voice, sorry. So if I zoom out, you can see there's four blocks that I've uh, attached next, uh, well, I've laid them out next to each other. And this is basically what the engine will do in the end when they, when it creates the level. It will take these blocks by random. Uh, I will have like uh, 20 or more blocks of different uh, room layouts inside. And the engine will like, just pick one of them rotate them at a at a random deg random degree inside of these 90 degree angles so uh, you know whatever i mean and then you place them uh, he places them it places them whatever uh, next to each other and then there is a level that is created and so i wanted to show you how this looks basically and now i can run around and uh, there's you know there's the same room again so i've basically just looped over to the next room and I've added some items so you can see like if I go over here and I run ac around and now there's no item anymore so uh, the random generation uh, takes uh, takes uh, care of that so also I wanted to show you one more thing uh, yeah some some uh, of these meshes are already in the game they need a texture of course but uh, they're all already working and showing up perfectly like this bathtub and the sink and also there's a health item that I can pick up. And uh, now I wanted to show you in the, the final part of this video will be uh, about textures. Now finally it's showing up. Anyway, so for example, <clears throat> I only have four textures for wood and only four, uh, basically the floors and ceilings, and only four textures for walls. But uh, when I run around, you don't recognize that. You see like, mm, there's all kinds of different you know, walls and everything. And the way I do it is basically this ceiling, uh, floor is exactly the same texture as the ceiling. But uh, when you just look at it, it doesn't really feel like that because there's a different uh, dirt texture attached to the ceiling. And uh, I can add all kinds of, I can, you know, I can change the color. For example, this wall uh, with this uh, pattern is exactly the same wall as this one. But here I've changed the color and uh, also a different dirt, which uh, makes it a completely different feel, I think. Like this wall and this wall. I don't know, you know, they all look dirty and stuff, but anyway. So this wall, ex for example, also a different type of dirt and also this one. Uh, I think this wall is exactly the same wall as uh, this wall. But they look completely different. And this is a very um, efficient way of uh, resource usage, I think. And it's pretty cool to, you know, even these materials are, I can create them just how much, uh, how, you know, I can create how many, what am I going to say? I can create as many materials as I want uh, because it goes like in seconds. I can just like duplicate one material that I have and change the resources it uses and then change like the the, the attributes of these materials. So I can make, a, for example, I can just show you. Uh, I go into, into one of these materials. For example, the 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 floor texture that you just saw, this one. And I can make it all, all shiny. For example, like this. So right now I can even make it more shiny. And when I save it and I go back in the game and now I have an all shiny floor texture that looks really, really horrible. And there I've, what's this? Anyway, some bugs, I don't know. Whatever. So yeah, this is a, just a very easy uh, method to use all kinds of materials for all kinds of uh, different uh, things and stuff. Different textures for different materials. Anyway, I'm rambling. So yeah, this is uh, what I wanted to show you. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.